Hey everyone, Justin with 702pros.com here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to gain access to your Google My Business account and how to add users on your account. You can add uh, several different types of users. I, I think there's editor, admin, and owner. So all those different roles do different things and you can look up the roles. I, I think it has like a tool tip that'll tell you what they can and cannot do. So, uh, and if you don't know what Google My Business is, it's the umbrella of like, it encompasses your entire business through Google's eyes. So it has where your business is listed, how many locations it may have, and all that is through one kind of portal. And underneath Google My Business is Google Maps. So you'll see like the map locations and stuff like that through Google My Business. All right, now that you know what Google My Business is, let's get started in how you add a user. All right, cool. So now we're on the computer and I'm going to go to Google My Business. So what you're going to do, and I'll, I'll put some of the description down below, uh, but you're just going to go to Google. It's pretty easy. Google and then type in Google My Business. Right. So we're going to click on this one here. And then you can select Manage Now, Sign In. There. I think they do the same things. So let's just select manage now. That brings me into an account that I already have. If I wanted to sign in to another account, I guess I would click sign in. Well, I'm already signed in. But uh, let's just say for argument's sake, if I wasn't signed in right now, I think it says sign up or sign in or get started. Like if I'm going to open up in incognito real quick because I'm not logged in. So if you're an incognito and you select manage now, it brings you to a sign in page. It used to say get started. They've changed it a few times, but sign in manage now does the same thing. So it brings you to a sign in page and here you're going to put in whatever email uh, that you signed up with. If you can't remember the email, I, I mean, I have that a lot. You, you just have to remember the email that you signed in with that you signed up with because if you don't remember it's it's kind of hard to gain access um like you can reach out to google but it i it's a nightmare you just have to remember the the account that you signed in with or you signed up with okay so let's go into my account <clears throat> and if you have multiple businesses in here you're going to select the business so we're going to add a user so let's select the business that we want to access and then we want to add a user. So we're going to go down the left side, go to users. And then this will be the list of all the users you have on here. If you want to delete someone from the list, uh, you could select the X here and it'll delete them. If you want to change ownership or change um, what they can do. So now they have owner, manager, site manager, primary owner. So all these have different roles. An owner has every, it's like an admin. It's one of the main things you can do besides the primary. The primary, the primary owner and the owner can do the same thing. The only thing different is the owner cannot delete the primary, but the primary can delete anyone. It can delete any owner on the account, any manager, any site manager. An owner can delete everyone other owners, managers, site managers, but not the primary. So um, if you're the main business owner, you should be primary on here just for security purposes. <clears throat> but let's, uh, let's go through, we're gonna add someone into the business here. So manage permissions. And if I wanna add someone, press plus next to this little guy and invite a new user. add one of your location groups. I think this is something something new. If I had a group of users, possibly. Uh, we're just going to, for this video, we're just going to talk about invite new users. So select that. And then here you're going to put in the email of the person you want to invite. So if it's a developer, just get their email, whatever email they want to use. Because uh, it's easier if they already have an account, typically. Uh, okay, so I'm going to add... 
Let's add development. All right. And you can add multiple people in here too. But I'm just going to add one for this video and then choose role. So you can make them an owner, manager, site manager. I think uh, an owner, manager, and site manager. Site manager is probably the lowest. It's like an editor. Uh, if we're going to put this in in terms of like a website or something, this is an editor. This one would be, if you've ever used WooCommerce or WordPress, this would be an editor. This would be a store manager. So they have a little bit more access than an editor, but they can't delete people, but they can delete other things. Um, and then owner can do basic, they can do everything. That's the main admin and then primary super admin. So they, they have all the same roles except for that delete thing we were talking about. So let's make, uh, this one an owner. <clears throat> if it's someone, I, if you really trust the developer, I would add them as an owner. If uh, they're not in your organization, just add them in as a, a manager. They can do a lot of different things. Um, yeah, so let's go owner here. Invited and then owner. And then they have to accept the invite. And then they can get into the account and, and do stuff. All right. So that's that's um, Google My Business. I can actually go way into Google the Google My Business, um, like what you can do with it, because they've they've changed it a lot over the years. So what Google My Business is now, um, back in like 2017, 18, they used to have Google uh, Plus. And before that, they had Google Places. So Places turned it into Plus. And way before that, they just had Maps. So they... <laughs> you could list your business on the maps, like kind of like Yelp. You didn't really have any ability over the map. You just, you put your map on there when they started Google Maps, um, like 10, a little over 10 years ago. But uh, then they started Google Plus. They got rid of Plus in 2019, around that, 18, 19. And then they started this Google My Business. And Google My Business is, it's a mixture between maps and... Uh, I would say places and um, plus. So you could do business posting and people can ask questions about your business. But how plus was kind of copying off of Facebook a little bit and LinkedIn, this is a different approach. It's a social approach. They're trying to make Google more social is what they're doing. And they want people to interact with businesses socially. So everyone that has a Google or like a Gmail account has a profile. So when they ask a question, um, they can have followers to them. Like there's, there's something called, uh, I think it's called, um, uh, what do they call it? <laughs> like local guides. You, you get points for asking questions, for reviewing things, for leaving comments, and then it makes you like an authority in your area. I was going to show you that, like, I think, I, I think I have to go to a review or something. Like, uh, l let's look up uh, my business. So if I go here and then go to reviews, see, I, it says I'm a local guide in my area based on the reviews that I've done. And then it asks you, like, what reviews you want to do. So that's it's really important as a business owner to to understand your not just your industry but how the internet or digital marketing is changing so google my business they're really going in the social aspect so that what does that tell me it tells me that google has a real they put a lot of weight or a lot of importance on what social they, they want people to get more social on there because they, they know it's not just, they don't want just faceless searches. People want their search, they, they want to have their searches somewhat private, but also they want to network. And in today's day and age with COVID and stuff, that's more important than ever before, being able to network with people. Um, and Facebook's not the only way, only way to do that. So 
the the thing with like Google versus if you're going on Facebook is their information is a lot more accurate. If you're reading through Facebook, a lot of it is just garbage. It's it's just fluff. It's not even real information a lot of the times. So a lot of times when I'm when I'm on Facebook or other people, you'll be searching on Facebook, you see you'll see an article and then you go back to Google to verify it, like to read something real. Um this is, that's what I see the difference between those two platforms is is you're actually looking for real information on here. But now they're trying to make the twist to the social. But that's a little off subject. But <laughs> now, uh, hopefully this video helped you on how to add users and gave you a little more insight on what Google My Business is and how important it may be for your business. So um, um, know Google My Business, get into it a little bit. Even if you add someone on an, uh, as a user, it's good to know how it works and how you can engage customers through this platform it's very powerful if you if you use it correctly all right again my name is justin with 702 pros 702pros.com i hope you like this video and if you did please leave a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you want to see more marketing and website tips and tricks and then also hit the notification bell if you want to get more information on stuff like that all right thanks for watching and see you next time